sometimes six months before they come home. Mm. So, so our eight steps, I'll run through them real quick. And uh, it's terminate criminal thinking because you got to have that shift. That's got to change. Separate mm. yourself from negative influences. And I always remind people, and I go in prisons and say this, not just the inmates, right? That could be staff. That could be negative influences around you, you know. Yeah. Um, participate in rehabilitative and education opportunities. Not because they tell you to, because even if you only get 10% out of those programs, those programs serve me in life right now. As much as I resented having to take them, I look back now and I go, thank God I have emotional intelligence now. Thank God I'm not a slave to my emotions anymore, that I'm not bitter. Um, the fourth one is liberate yourself from incarceration. And how do you do that? You got to make parole. What do you got to do? You got to stop getting misconducts. You got to start doing things that's going to make you stand out to parole. That's in our interest, but we resent it because they're telling us to do it. So we don't do it. And it keeps us in jail longer. I mean, that's how much they mess with our brains in there. That we start thinking we're winning by staying in prison. Wow. And then the four when you come home is, you know, reintegrate back into society. Easier said than done. That's where the peer support comes in and you really need that support. Okay. Conciliate with the individuals and community you have harmed. We're real big on community service. I can never make up for the crime I committed. Someone lost their life. Mm -hmm. But I can exhaust myself every day trying, even though it's never going to do it. You know, And I can't do it to my victim, but I can do it for my community. I can do it for helping other reentrants coming out, steering youth away from the, the criminal justice system, um, affiliating with positive influences. When people come home, a lot of times we ask people like, well, what do you want to do with your time? And they're like, I don't know, man. I just got high before. I don't know what to do with my time. 